Welcome back. Let's continue our layers exploration. In this video, we're going to update an existing layer. We will create a new method and then build on top of the previous projects that we have worked on earlier. So here is our new method, update layer, and we have created also the command method name as update update layer. And I have here the basic uh, code structure. We have a handle of our document object and the database and the transaction as well as the try catch block. I have also created here the uh, code to retrieve the layer table. So let's uh, continue building on top of this. The objective basically is to update the existing layer which uh, we have created earlier, the layer misc or miscellaneous. We will update the color as well as the line type. So let's uh, keep going with our code. I would like to loop through the layer tab and then find the layer uh, misc. Then we will update once we found it. So the code here is to for each object ID, let's just call this as LY ID. In the LY tab collection, so we need to get the layer table record for each of these object ID here inside the layer table. Let, let's call this as LYTR. And then from the transaction, we have to get object. that is coming from the LY ID and then open mode that for read as a layer table record okay now that we have the layer table record we can retrieve the properties now if layer table record that name equals the misc layer that we will be creating Okay, now that we found it, we can start modification of it, of that layer. But before we can do that, we have to upgrade open. And then first, let's update the color. So lytr.color is equal to color that from color index color method by layer let's change it to yellow which is 2 next we need to update the line type so before we can do that we have to get hold of the line type tables so in order to find the line type table same as the layer table here we also have a line type table Let's call this as LT tab. It's uh, coming from the transaction as well. Get object. And then from the DB, line type table ID, open mode for read as a line type table. Okay, the reason for this is that we need to check first whether the line type already exists. So if <coughs> LT tab that has a layer called, I mean the line type called hidden equals true, then we can now apply this particular line type into our layer. So LYTR dot line type object ID equals LT tab and the hidden. Okay, originally once you create a layer, it's always default to continuous. But in this case, we are changing it to hidden. And then 
we have already changed the color and the line type so we are good we can then commit the transaction trans.commit then send a message to the user that editor that write message completed updating layer and the layer name okay then we can issue here a break statement which means that since we are looping in the loop in the using the for each so once we found the layer we don't need to continue with uh, iterating further we just break from the loop so otherwise in here if the current layer is not miscellaneous let's just provide a user with a message as well so they know that we are uh, iterating from each of the layers write message just saying that we are skipping layer lytr that name plus this closing bracket and that should be it let's do some cleanup here all right so we can save this project now okay and then do a rebuild okay success now let's uh, try this in AutoCAD let us load our plugin This is our this is our plugin. So if we examine the layer, this is, these are all our layers. We don't have the misc layer yet. So first, let's run the previous method that we have created it's a uh, create layer yeah let's see what we have here now okay so now we have the misc layer with a red color and continuous line type so once we run our update layer this should change to yellow and the line type should be hidden so let's give it a try update layer see our message here we're basically skipping these uh, layers here then now we found the misc layer it says completed updating layer miscellaneous okay now let's examine the layer there you go the color has been changed to yellow and the line type has been changed to hidden so our code worked all right so that's about it for our update layer method i'll see you in the next video